Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today guys, we're going to be using STSSW900. We've got it set up to do some heavy hauling. We're also using the W900 tuner pack that the STS has released for the truck. As you know, the truck was reworked uh, this year in February. We have a lot How better truck. Job done. We'll be going over some of the stuff that comes with a new tuner pack for this uh, beautiful truck today. We're hauling this big tank. Let's go around. How's it about doing tonight? So we got, um, and why did I do that? I hit the wrong button, first thing. We got 197 miles to go. So let's, uh, get on the road. Hope you guys are doing well. Now I will show you some of the options now that comes with this, uh, with the W9. Um, it said, like I said, SS did release a tuner pack, a DLC tuner pack that has a lot of options for the truck. Uh, you know, it gives us hope on what they can do for some of these other trucks out there that they have. So the day of the truck's around the Cummins N14. Get ready to turn right. For the 18th speed for the transmission. Turn right. We're on our first profile. I want to think I wanted it has come out and watched the live stream when one way was exploring Oklahoma. We did finish um, exploring Oklahoma. We've been locked in all the cities over there. Right now we're up in Washington. This uh, beautiful truck today. So, I hope everyone is uh, doing well. Let's slow down here. We're taking this turn. Well, get ready to turn left. Rainy night, Washington. We're gonna make a wide turn here. Still a beautiful game. I love to play this. I love the and we are using a graphics mod. I mean it does make it look better, but it's still even without a graphics mod the game is just gorgeous. In every state they do it just makes it so much better. I just love it. Throw the cruise control on. Gonna get on down the road here. So I'm gonna go over some. I'm gonna go over as many of the options as I can today in this video on what comes with the tuner pack for the W900. Um, you know, hats off to SCS for everything that they've been doing. You know, we do have one more truck coming this year. Uh, Oklahoma was awesome. Uh, can't wait for Kansas to come out. You know, that bring more content to the game. Uh, probably will not see uh, Kansas. I would say probably, maybe, probably around December when I'm thinking it to come out. 
He may come a little bit for that, we don't know. Rainy night. The sound of the windshield wiper is hitting the, like hitting the window like it wasn't a real truck like it's raining just a little bit but not raining you know, enough for the wipers to do the whole job you know Tesla get out of my way being kind of quiet and I got to let y'all hear that Cummins N14 or it's in the truck. You know me, I got to have my N14s in these, in these Peterbilt Kenworths. Love the sound of an N14. 108 miles to go. Gonna have to wait today. the way. Let's put our crew control on. This transmission is 18 speed, 8 and fuller, it has a retarder.
Oh, we don't have to stop. We're good. Keep rolling. That's good. We have 84 miles to go. We should be, let's see, we got 60, we're about 60 miles out. Real little rainy night here. Already got a thumbnail, we don't have to worry about that. Game is running very well right now. a bit of traffic out. Keep right. Keep right. Go toward Portland.
and then turn right. Turn right. Are you getting able to double so far? Oh, he's having time getting up his hill. One of them doubles. About 14 miles out to our, our drop. Keep right. Now I keep left there. Get a little bit of lag now. And maybe Jazz Cat's mods. We're already using Jazz Cat's traffic mods, so. Um, okay, I think we need to go this way. We hit a, a car hit us. Come on, get out of the way. Go on. I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we almost went the wrong way. So we was trying to take a detour. Keep right, and then turn right. That was my fault. Sorry about that. Turn right. All right. Well, get ready to turn left. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Right, we're here. Well, are they gonna scrap this uh thing? It was a nice ride. Now yes, make it sure was. you come back and visit me, alright? Except we're almost going the wrong way, yeah. It was a nice ride.
Alright, so we're gonna turn this way. It's like this pull up by this truck up here in this garage. They still ain't got this truck figured. This truck been in this uh in this garage since uh, this state come out. So they got the motor pulled out of it still sitting there. on the outside here for a minute. Baby Nine's a good looking truck. I always have love, love to look at this truck. We're at the turn like this. Alright, let's straighten it up a little bit here. Let's pull it over here as much as we can, these containers right here. We'll go back in the cab. I don't want to stay on the outside of the cab too much. It's gonna be tough to get it in there. We'll do it. They're not like, not to my liking. All right, let's pull up this way a little bit. Let's see if we can get it in there from over here. Kill the truck. Not quite there yet. Oh, don't hit the side of that container. Come on. It's in, it's in such a bad spot. That's the whole issue here. It's not letting it turn. All right, let's. We have to pull up more than that. We can't turn it that way. Not. 
trying not to hit stuff, but still hit. It's not gonna work like that. All right, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to kind of lead it. It's not gonna be far enough. You can't get. You gonna have to turn it more. I've never had this problem getting in and getting a trailer part here. I've been here many times. This is the first time I've had this kind of problem. There we go. Alright, we drove exit. We drove 199 miles. Took us 5 hours, 10 minutes to get here. We consumed 48.5 gallons of fuel. We're going to go ahead and get another load, but we're going to look at that real quick. It may not let us look at it now. Let me see. We're going to go ahead and go into the mod dealership here. Alright, so the W900. Put the controller over there and be out of the way. As you know, it has... So we're going to go to the options here. You see it has a lot more bubbles than what it used to have here. So you're going to have more chrome... More bumpers now. This mouse is aggravating me. As you see, you have a lot more bumpers than now that you got with the um, the tuner pack. Actually, that there's not a bad looking bumper. I didn't know that one was with it. I like the um, lollipop lights on it. That's pretty cool. So see, you have painted bumpers. You have your standard. You have a, uh, this is a shield bumper. That's a modern painted bumper. To me, that doesn't look too good on that truck. It look that's more like for um, something like a uh, the Western Star. So it doesn't look good on that W900. That looks that looks better. That one's okay. Painted version of that. I like that with the bull bar. I really don't like that. Uh, I don't know that that I just I don't like the way that looks on the truck. I mean, somebody, some of you guys may like it, but I don't like that. I, I don't think it, it fits the truck. 
that fits more of a new modern type truck than these W9s. These W9s are not. He uses the controller. All right, so now you have options here for your head around your headlights. You can put the guards. You have your bulls, your bullseye. Now you put like that, in which that lights. And then come on. Or right, you can put this is another bullseye amber, a little bit bigger light set. Or you got your blinker bar. Bar. That's what I have put. They all that come with a tuner pack. You have multiple different headlights. Standard. You can go in with a uh, LED, uh, like a, a, a chrome, black chrome, LED um, black. You have multiple um, grills. Now they come with the um, W900 uh, tuner pack. So you have multiple, you have different uh, logos. But, you know, Kenmark's always had probably their best logo, for my opinion, is going to be that one. Your hood. Now you have your side panel right here. You can go plank, take that off. You can get your badge there. You can leave it like that. Change your badge down toward the bottom. You can make this shorter. So yeah, there's multiple options. You can even change the um, logo. You have multiple options here. I don't know if I like the black. I mean, it, it don't look too bad with the red, the red paint job. Now that doesn't look too good. You have um, different access accessories like. Where you put your turn signals here too, if you want them there. You know what these trucks are pretty much known for. Uh, different different mirrors. This is your classic mirror. Right here. For the truck. As you know, you're gonna have your light set up up here. That's pretty interesting. This may have been updated since I. Uh, you can now. Uh, Horns, because it didn't have some of this. Because I done it when it first came out. Now it did come. This accessory pack did come with the marker lights, which we do like. With these trucks, it makes these trucks look good. That's your set of light adapter packs. You can put the lights here, but you had to change this right here. You would have to take that all, as you see, and put them there. I do two different sides of strobe lights now. You can remove that window. If you want to. Put trim there. Around your door handles. Make that a classic door handle. Actually, you can even put chrome there. Which is pretty cool. Look at that. You can really can fix this truck up. Really make it, really make it sparkle, you know. Accessory so mirror there. You can change all this, make this chrome. Like I said, that's your light pack. A sauce, you can go with a painted. These trucks look good like this. You have a uh, multiple now different of these. You can actually put your lighting on the bottom. You can actually add it also to your fuel tank, which I like. So like that. Have your chrome there. Right, you also have a feature here where you can add, if you want to like put on your sides, you can do LED lighting here. On the sides of the truck, you can do like that. You can do your, that's what I put on mine, but I like the reverse lights, extra for the reverse lights. You can also put lighting here. Well, this will light up retro like this. No rail. Your tire option is going to be about the same. Right here, you can change all this area for your lighting. If you want to go a little bit deeper with it like that. I 
don't know if that would really match. It really wouldn't look as good because of these right here being just like they are. I think you'd be better off kind of keep what you had on there like that. It would look a little bit, it matches a little bit better, I, I guess you could say. You can change all this in here. This is your your steps and your fuel tank. Get all this now can be changed. Have a lot more options for that. So for the little bit of money that we pay for the tuner pack, it's, it's definitely worth what they, what they have added for this truck. I really want to see a lot more of this. I want to see them do more things like this because it, it really makes these trucks stand out. You know, the W900 is such an iconic truck. So, you know, for the for Kenworth Federal to give us something like this, it shows how much they are supporting this game and how much they uh, enjoy seeing their trucks in the game and stuff like that. So you have different mats you can put in the truck. Come on. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. We're gonna wrap it up today's video. Getting here using SCS W900 using the W900 tuner pack today. Doing a heavy haul. I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Means a lot have channel grow, and we'll see you in the next video.